Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we will be talking about properties of multiplication. We can go over the following topic in this video. We will be covering the order properties of multiplication, grouping the grouping properties of multiplication, multiples, factors, and prime numbers versus composite numbers. So the order property of multiplication, what is that? Well, when multiplying two positive numbers, the answer will not change no matter in which order you multiply them. So in the following example, I have eight times six and six times eight. Both of these answers will give me the number 48, showing that no matter which way I multiply them, they will always equal to the same amount. The grouping property of for multiplication. And the states that when grouping positive numbers to multiply them, you get the same answer no matter the grouping. So here I have two times four times three, all of which will give me an answer of 24. Then I have in brackets here, I have two times four, which will give me eight times three, which will also give me 24. And at the bottom over here, I have four times three in the brackets, which will give me 12 times two, which will also give me 24. So multiples, when you multiply two numbers, the answer is called a multiple. So if I have four times five, which is equal to 20, this means that, twin, that 20 is a multiple of four and five. The bottom here, I have eight times 12, which gives me 96, which makes 96 a multiple of eight and 12. When it comes to factors, factors, the factors of a number are numbers that divide into it equally. Factors come in pairs known as factor pairs and can be listed for a number. So in our example, we need to find the factors of 24. So you need to think of all the multiplication sums that will give you an answer of 24. For example, 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. Oh, it could be the other way around. Six times four. Eight times three. Twelve times two. Or twenty-four times one. So usually we list these answers out, so we would create a, a sequence of numbers. So I have one two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. And if you want to see the factor pairs, you can just pair them up in the following way. So this shows all the factor pairs that we are working with. Prime numbers and composite numbers. So prime numbers are numbers that only have two factors, one in itself. These are numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. There are many more um, to find, 
but I'm just listing the first five. Composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors. These are numbers like 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. The number 1 is not a prime number as it only has a factor of 1. In our example, we will be finding the prime factors of 30. When you get a question like this, there are a few steps that you need to remember. First thing that you have to do is first find the factors of 30. So if I start with that, I have one times 10, two times 15, three times 10, and five times six. So all of those numbers are my factors. And if I put them in a list order, they'll be as follows. One, two, three, five, six, ten, fifteen, and thirty. Which leads us to our second step which is to circle the prime numbers. So from here, I can see that two, three, and five are our prime numbers, which leads us to our last step, number three, which is to list the prime numbers. So the prime numbers of 13 or 2, 3, and 5. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.